Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem split strings. So first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically in this question, we are given a string, let's say, okay. So basically I need to divide this string. You can say split this string into three parts. Let's say S1, which would contain all the alphabets, okay. So this is over here. Okay, then the second string is S2. Okay, S2 would contain all the numeric values that is this 1, 2, 3. Okay, now S3 would be containing the symbols. Okay, so I have only one symbol that is hashtag. Now again, I have a you know a alphabet so A. Okay, so basically my output would be this thing. Okay, so I'm given a string, I need to split the string into three strings, okay. One would be containing, you know, the alphabets, second one would be containing, you know, the numeric values and the third one would be containing the symbols. Remember in the alphabets, it is for both uppercase and lowercase, okay. So it is for both kind of alphabets. So I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's solve this question. So what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section, you need to choose school, okay? After that, you need to find the problem split strings. Once you find it, you need to click on solve, okay? Here is the question. Given a string S which consists of alphabets, numbers and special characters, you need to write a program to split the string in three different strings, S1, S2, S3, such that the string S1 will contain all the alphabets present in S, the string S2 will contain all the numbers present in S and S3 will contain all special characters present in S. The string S1, S2 and S3 should have characters in same order as they appear in the input. Okay, so you cannot change the order. I hope the question is clear to you. Now we would code it over here. So let's start. First thing is declaring the three new strings, right? So that is S1. Let's do like this. S1 comma s2 comma s3 okay equal to double quotes then comma quotes then after this comma and quotes okay after this i need to apply a for loop on the given string right for i okay in space s okay after this i need to check which are the numeric values which are the alphabets and you know which are the symbols so the if conditions if i is digit okay this is an inbuilt function if it is a digit then i need to add it in s2 right so s2 plus equal to i okay now this is if for digit right now elif okay elif i is upper that means uppercase then and okay or you can say or if i is lower okay that is for lowercase Okay, if this is the condition, then you need to add them in S1, right? After this, the last condition is for symbols. So, S, you need to add all the remaining things in S3, right? Now, I just need to return with the values of S1, S2 and S3, right? S1, comma S2, comma S3. Now, I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So, I would click on compile and the compilation is completed. One second. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the problem. Okay, so let's submit it. So the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem split strings. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.